First tonight, knowing where to go when emergencies happen can be difficult for first responders. CBS 4 Stephen Seeley tells us about problems one emergency crew has with locating some patients and how you can help. Stephen? Marcy, Eddie, when we call 911, we assume the technology EMS uses can pinpoint our exact spot. But that's not always the case. Dispatch relies on you as much as you rely on them. When the public calls 911, the dispatch center needs to do everything it can to ensure you get the necessary care quickly. Most importantly, know where you are. Rene Perez with South Texas Emergency Care Foundation says their 911 system is up to date and upgrades the firmware regularly so new addresses are visible. When you call 911 via uh, landline, uh, which is kind of becoming more extinct, uh, the system is designed to plot your exact location because it's the home phone that you have. Perez is right. Landlines aren't being used or installed as much anymore. According to Perez, around 90% of the calls are from cell phones. Off a cell phone, we're, we're getting a, uh, the nearest tower, so we're getting a radius of about a mile of where the call is coming from. It's up to the caller to tell dispatch where they are exactly. But in the heat of the moment, that's not always so simple. Or in the panic of the emergency, uh, forget where exactly where they're at. So it takes a little bit of time to find those addresses, but that delay causes delay in us getting to the scenes. A lot of people, a lot of folks, they just they assume that we're going to find them just when they call, and sometimes that is not available. Emilio Rodriguez supervises the EMS drivers and understands the struggles in finding the exact locations. Yeah, see there's only on one side of the mailbox. Those numbers, you can barely see them. When emergency crews arrive at the scene, they are looking for numbers on a house or a mailbox. Rodriguez stresses the need to have address numbers visible with contrasting colors to see at night. While EMS has a high-tech mapping system to show them the area of the call, it's the small things that you can do to help them out. And, and sometimes when you don't have a number or there's numbers missing, or like I said, uh, you know, people paint over the numbers, uh, it makes it difficult to see from the roadside. Now those in emergency services say the way you can cut down response time is to know the exact address of your house. If it's not at your house and in an unknown location, know the surrounding landmarks to help EMS find you sooner. In the studio, Stephen Seeley, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.